All right, boys and girls and camera guy. Let's do a challenge. First challenge of today. Let me just open up the ch 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 challenges. First challenge of today. And if after this challenge there's still 200 people, I'll reset the live stream again. Um, what's the verb? Today, I have verb descriptions for you and I want you to tell me what's the verb. Every verb today, every action word today has I-N-G. Every verb today has I-N-G. So what's the first verb? Type it down below. When you are releasing something forcefully into the air. When you are releasing something forcefully into the air. What is the verb? Not releasing. I will not say the word. I will not say the verb. I am describing the correct verb. What is the verb, guys? When you are releasing something forcefully in the air. That was a drop. What is it called? When you are releasing something forcefully in the air with ing. Every verb today has ing. I just thought it's funny to add ing. <laughs> yes, of course. The first verb of today is simply throwing. Throwing. When you throw something, throwing. You can participate just by typing down below. It's that easy, okay? That simple. You type down below, we'll get it. Well done. The first one is throwing. Well done, G, Bin, Ahmed, Trinity, Salah, Daisy, Dida, Sylvie, uh, Josie, Blue, Rania in the top 10. Julie Ambar, Love, W. This close. So close. So close. But what do you call it when you are taking air into your lungs and expel it? Thank you so much, Jibin, for your support. What do you call it when you take air into your lungs and expel it? Now you know how it's called. When you are exhaling, but you are also taking it in. You take it in and you take it out, not only the one. With ING, the act of taking air into one's lungs and expelling it. Not inhaling, no, because it is in and out. In and out, both. <laughs> it is, of course. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathing. Simply just breathing. Well done to the top ten. Ma B, Dida V, Trinity, Julie, Jibin, Coffee Bear, Sam Sam, Selena, and Jay Bakozona in the top ten. Daisy Blue, Akula. So close. So close. Well done. Breathing was the right answer. Number three, here we go. What is the verb? What is the action word? I am looking for a form of movement that involves rhythmic steps and gestures. A form of movement that involves rhythmic steps and gestures. Hmm, rhythmic. Rhythmic means on the beat, on the beat of a song. What can you do on the beat of a song with ING? What can you do? Did you guess it well? Indian. <laughs> Maybe it's Indian. I don't know. It could be just a general word. 
What are we doing? When we are uh, a form of movement that involves rhythmic steps and gestures, this is of course... Dancing. Dancing. Well done. To Coffee Bear, Dida, Madalur, Jibin, Rania, Trinity, Sunshine, Luliana, Mea, Jay, and David in the top 10. Well done. Bakuzona, Hopeless, Daisy. So close. You couldn't guess it. Dancing, Carmen. When you go on the beat, it is dancing. All right. What is the next verb? It is a process of breaking down food with one's teeth. What is the process of breaking down food with one's teeth? Not just eating, specifically breaking down the food in your mouth with ing. With ing, yes. When you have a big lump of meat and you're chew, chew, chewing. Well done to you. Chewing was the right answer. Chewing, okay? Don't forget to chew your food. Daisy, Jibin, Rania, Jay, Jill, Celia, Agnes, Dominico, Camera Guy, Mabi, Julie, and Love W coming in with the win. Well done to you. Well done to you. Chewing. <laughs> it's a nice word. Also, when people chew loudly, bro, don't ever do that in front of me. Asians always chew very loud. Don't do that. All right. What do you call the ability to handle multiple objects in the air at once? What do you call the ability to handle multiple objects in the air at once? It's like multitasking, but then with ING. With the I and the N and the G. There you go. Now you're figuring it out. <laughs> it's not jogging. We are not running somewhere. It is multitasking, however, it is a specific name for multitasking when it's with something in the air. Magic? True. It does look like magic, but magic in this case, not a verb. Circus stuff. Nice. <laughs> it starts with the letter J. J. The ability to handle multiple objects in the air at once. Starting with the letter J. The boys are back. True story. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Beat up those guys. Don't, don't uh, take me out of context. Well done, J Camera Guy, user 200. Daisy, Amber, Leah, Ember, Dira, Nona, Nikki, Luliana. In the top 10. Well done to you. Well done to you. Juggling. Juggling. Maybe they can juggle. True. Although camera guy first said the wrong word and then said the right word. You had time. You had time. Juggling. Well done. Juggling is the correct verb. Okay, next one. Listen up. And in the meantime, don't forget to like and share here. Um, this one can have more than one meaning, but we're looking for the good meaning, okay? What do you call it when you cause someone or something to fall or lose balance? When you cause someone to lose or fall, when they lose their balance. When somebody's walking and they suddenly... Oh! <laughs> oh! What do you call that? By the way, this happens to me all the time. I never watch my feet. This happens to me all the time, especially when I'm trying to look good. I'm like, yeah, look at me, bro. 
How do you call it? How do you call it? It could be stumbling. But when you are specifically falling over something. Or someone does it to you. You might be tr tr tr. You might be tr tr tr. What are you doing? Tr tr tr. Being clumsy? True. Yeah. Clumsy people do this a lot. What do clumsy people do? Tri, tri, tripping. Well done to you. Camera guy, Leah, Jibin, It's Murdida, Sunshine Mea, Wodu, Amelia, Skaska, and Jay, Coffee Bear in the top 10. Luliana, Giselia Tau. So close. Tripping. When you trip over something, T R I P, trip. When you trip over something. Well done. Here is the next one. How do you call it when I have something and I curve it? How do you call this with I N G? <gasps> How do we call this with ING, guys? Tell me, tell me, tell me, and I will put the microphone in. So you can have those good animal sounds. Because that's what you're looking for, right? Good animal sounds. Like Avatar? Oh, yes. <laughs> True. Like that. Sorry, I'm dumb. Uh, it starts, of course, with the letter B. B, B, B. Oh, you wanna, you wanna have it muted next time, okay? Next time I'll mute it. <laughs> Bending, guys. Bending. Well done to you. Jibin, Gvanza, Camera Guy, Queen, Leah, Siriev, Bagazona, Blue, Rania, Dira, Bayou. In the top 10. Daisy Rienti Trinity. This close. Muted ASMR white noise. Hey, I give you that good ASMR. You like it, right? You do like it. I know. I know you do. <laughs> All right. What do you call it? What do you call it when you are producing music with your voice easy when you are producing music with your voice how do you call it with ing every single verb today has i n g how do you call it when you produce mu music with your mouth it could be beatboxing, honestly, sure. It could definitely be beatboxing. <laughs> but in this case, just uh, making it easy, okay? Singing, well done. Singing, type it down below, get the free point. Push-ups, I'm in the garden. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> Bagusona, Amelia, Jay, Dira, Luliana, Jibin, Embar, Mabi, Zivara, Niggy, in the top 10. Trinity, camera guys, Kafka. Not enough. <laughs> Bro. Bro. This one is a little bit more difficult. Think about it and answer. Think about it and answer. To close something forcefully, often with a loud sound. To close something forcefully, often with a loud sound. When you close something forcefully, guys, with force, what do you call it?
what do you call it? When you close something with a loud sound. Like women always do to the to the car door. <laughs> Sorry for the kids in the back there. I saw that drop on my screen. What are you doing? Um yes. <laughs> You are indeed slamming, slamming. No, 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 Trinity. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I'm glad you like the food. Now, shh. Bro, these birds. <laughs> They're like eating the food. <laughs> All right, it was slamming with ING. Well done to you, well done to you. I know you know the answer, okay? Be quiet, bro. Um, how do you call it with the letter A? When you are putting objects or people in a specific way with the letter A. What do you call it? When you put objects or people in a specific way. It could be adjusting, but there's a better word. A better English word. How do you call it? You got it. Yeah, now because you're copy and pasting, listen, the word is arranging. Arranging, just like organizing. But arranging is indeed in a specific order. Arranging, arranging. Nice, right? Nice word. <laughs> I like the word too. Let's see who else likes the word. Luliana, number one, J, Tao, Love, W, Maya, Daisy. Emily, Akula, Nohora, Mabi, and Bako Zona in the top 10. Zivara, Coffee Bear, Dida. This close. This close. Well done. Well done to you. Arranging is the right word. To set up. Yeah, it could also be to set up. But in this case, we are looking at ING words. Words that end in ING. All right, this word could be confusing. I don't know if you know it. I don't know. How do you call it when you are making a high pitch sound between your lips? How do you call it when you make a high pitch sound between your lips? No, between your lips. Like this. No, no, no. Screaming, you don't do between your lips. Screaming is in your mouth. Between your lips is the key. Between your lips is the key. It is, of course. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Stole the first place? Wow, wow, wow. Nobody's stealing the first place, okay? If they got first place, fair and square. <laughs> it is, of course, called whistling. Well done. Whistling, guys. Whistling. Wow, wow, wow. W H wow, wow, wow. Whistling. <laughs> I know that many Asians have trouble, have trouble whistling. <laughs> well done, Daisy, Trinity, Bagazona, Jay, Luliana, Leah, Sierifio, Tao, Malam, Lima, Jibin, and Mabi in the top 10. 
No, you can whistle. Good for you. <laughs> Good for you. Well, this is another thing that uh, the Asians are popular for, which is to sit with one's legs bent and one back straight. One's back straight. <sighs> to sit with one's legs bent and one's back straight. How do you call it? How do you call it? When you're sitting with your legs bent and your back straight. Flat feet on the ground, which is very hard for me. I can do it, but I can only do it very wide. <laughs> I'm a big guy, okay? I'm a big guy. It is with double T. Sorry. Sorry. It is with double T. Meditating? No, because we are sitting with one's legs. Bend. It could be meditating. Honestly, if you describe it like that, maybe. You are right, though. Most of you are right, because it is indeed squatting. Squatting with double T. Don't forget, squatting with double T. Type it down below. Get the point. Daisy Camera Guy Leah. My Selena Dida. S T F I G J O Trinity. Mabi Rania. Well done to you and Jen. Sarima Luliana. This close. To the top pen. This close. <laughs> well done to you. Well done to you. Squatting. Squatting. Nice word. SQ. Nice word. Thank you for your gifts. Very kind of you. We are 50% of the way. Very nice. Why so difficult? What do you mean? Do you want to learn English or not? Okay, I'll make it easier just for you. The next word is easier. Thank you, Nikki, for the power. Thank you so much. What do you call it when you are drawing something towards yourself? When you draw something towards yourself with I N G. Now you know, you can also call it drawing. <laughs> Nobody uses the word drawing in this case. When I do this. Ugh! What do you call it? With the letter P, correct. Power, that's where you need the power for, right? With uh, ING, every single verb today has ING. What do you call it? <laughs> more power. Always need more power, honestly. It is, of course, called pulling, pull, pull and push, pulling, pushing. The clue was the letter P. Well done, Liliana, making it to number one. Tao, my Bakuzona, Trinity, my B Daisy, G Bin, Doris, Coffee Bear, and Camera Guy. Well done to you in the top ten. Uh, I'm scared. Honestly, this guy. <laughs> Any second, it, it will rain. Not can, will. So we just keep going until it starts raining and I will bring out the umbrella. I want to sit outside in the rain, why not? Ooh, that word is so difficult. So let's switch it. I'll do the other word, that's easier. <laughs> the word was manipulating. That the word is too difficult. Let's, uh, let's focus on this one. When somebody throws up one's stomach contest tense. When somebody throws up <laughs> their stomach content, they are v v v. I'm actually curious. I actually don't know the difference between this word and puking. What's the difference, bro? What's the difference? You like manipulating? Who are you manipulating? 
Regurgitation. Yeah, it's kind of like regurgitation, but we are not swallowing it again, okay? Regurgitation means you swallow it again. You always choose the other word because you like to give people the option of winning, even though you know the word. Makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> it is, of course, vomiting. Disgusting. My Nikki Bakzona Dida Camera Guy Gbin Trinity uh, Sylvie Luliana Giselia Michelle in the top ten. Well done, Rania Hoy Boy Co Coffee Bear. Almost there. Almost there, Rania. Thank you for your hat. You already gave so much today. I appreciate you. One more word. Two more words. Let's see. Here is the first one at least. When something is shaking rapidly. When something is shaking rapidly. Not someone, but when something is shaking rapidly. What do you call it? With the letter V. No, people shiver. That's why I said something. Because I'm looking for something. What is this something, guys? I'll give you one more word. And then I'll take out the umbrella. <laughs> yes, you are correct. The correct word is vibrating vibrating like when your phone when somebody calls you but you never turn on your sound like I do vibrating <laughs> <laughs> all right one more this is the last one of the first challenge of today let's do this one a nice and easy one tonight the Netherlands is playing against England. They have a ball, but what do they do to the ball with their feet? What do they do to the ball with their feet? You thought winning, yeah. There's the rain, I told you, I need to get an umbrella. I am prepared. Kicking the toxic people from my life. Nice. Nice. That's what it should be. <laughs> the birds are singing? No, somebody is uh, cutting wood. What you hear is somebody cutting wood. But you are correct. Well done. It was kicking. It was kicking. Well done to Jibin Mai. Amalia, Amelia, Sela, Bakuzona, Jay, Sunshine, Ma, B, Selena, Tao, and Lima in the top 10. Well done to you. I don't know how many words did we do? 16. Perfect. Hey, well done to you. And the next challenge has to do with traveling. Anybody here likes to travel? Anybody here likes to travel? How good do you think your travel vocabulary is? What do you think? Do you have that good travel vocabulary? Yeah, you like traveling but no money? Everybody's problem, right? <laughs> Literally everybody. No bugs problem. No, we don't really have a lot of bugs because there are a lot of birds in the garden and my cat is also here. I don't know if she's still outside. Yeah, she's sitting right there be behind the owl. There, guys. See your head? This is Luca's head. I'll show her to you. Luca? 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 See? <laughs> she
She was saying hello. <laughs> she came to say hello. Um, what do I think about AI for learning English? It can help. I have nothing against AI. It can help you out. It can make you better. However, you gotta, you gotta speak at, with people at some point. Why are you otherwise learning English? Talk to some real people, okay? <laughs> she want to meet you too. True. So I was serious yesterday when I said, do you want a Luca TikTok? Do you want a TikTok of my cat? I will make a picture of my cat every day and share it on TikTok. <laughs> Like I don't have 1,532 other things to do. But I can do it if you really want me to. <laughs> this is me. When I have a lot to do, I'll just add more things to do. <laughs> Give us Luca. Whoa, calm down. Okay, calm down. <laughs> Give us Luca. <laughs> Nice to meet you too, I hope you're doing well. How long did it take me to learn? I was just learning English, I wasn't paying attention to the time or how long it took. I was just playing games, watching movies, have a good time to improve my English. Alright. You like playing games? Do, should we play the next game? Should we pay, play the game about traveling? Gris, thank you for the rose. Appreciate you. Thank you for all the gifts. Guys, you're giving so many things, I can't keep up. <laughs> thank you, GB, and thank you, Grizz. What's up, Jay? Is that your favorite sticker, Jay? Guys, show me your favorite sticker. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'll give you the sound. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you for the rosas and the EP. Thank you for the heart. You're welcome to subscribe if you'd like to. That always makes it easier. I do need to fix this tripod. Ah, the tripod is missing a screw. I can see it's missing a screw. This is the tripod from the free store that I'm using. But it, it's good. It's like pure metal. So it's a good tripod, but it's missing a screw. Well, I have a screw. I didn't give you that sound. I'll give you a special sound. Rania, this one is for you. Do you like that one? Good sound? <laughs> Acceptable? <laughs> What's a screw? It's the tiny metal thing that you can turn in, you know, in the wood. You can screw it. It's your first time? Welcome, pretty A. Anybody else first time? Just say hello in the chat. You're welcome. You are welcome. <laughs> There's the wind. Hello in chat. I'm in the Netherlands right now, close to the German border. This morning I was cycling for two and a half hours. We went to the different village to register, to register me back in the Netherlands. On paper, I haven't lived in the Netherlands since 2020. Now we're back here. <laughs> we are back in the Netherlands. So I had to register with the municipal, the municipal. And uh, now I can pay my tax again. <laughs> That's the problem. You register. Number one thing you have to pay. Health insurance. Number two thing you have to pay. Tax. My money is instantly gone. No more money. <laughs> Thank you for the follows. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. You are amazing. I uh, hope you're doing well. <laughs> hmm? What a tax? T tax. You don't know what is tax? 
Where do you think the government gets its money? Tax. Don't evade tax, okay? You like hashtags? I like hashtags more than tax, honestly. Me too, man. Me too. Give me some good hashtags. You also pay tax? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> I hope they accept me back into this uh, village and we'll be all right. Is that true? Is it hard to make an appointment with the doctor? No? Why would it be hard? The Netherlands healthcare system, honestly, one of the best in the world. One of the best systems in the world. The money we pay is expensive, but the healthcare is also really good. So I can't complain. Um, I think it is time for challenge number two. Do you agree? Are you ready for a challenge? Are you ready to prove your English to be better than others in English? Bro, get on my leg. <laughs> just in time? Yes, Daisy, you are just in time. Because this is challenge number two. It's the easiest challenge, I would say. I would say it's the easiest challenge, but it's also difficult at the same time. We all know synonyms right we all know synonyms the same word for something we all know synonyms now what if i told you that i have travel words for you and every travel word has a synonym i'm gonna say a word that has to do with traveling and i want you to give me the closest word to that word it could be multiple words. So use that brain of yours. Use your vocabulary and be the number one, okay? I believe in you. Test your vocabulary. Otherwise, learn new words. I'm going to put the table here so the electricity can be under the umbrella. <laughs> Gotta be well-traveled. Not a basic words. They are basic words. I don't think I need my sunscreen anymore. Sunscreen is not a word. Um, all set? Okay. Okay. Number one. Thank you for 50,000 likes. I appreciate your support. The more likes, the more people can learn English for free. So thank you for tapping my giant nose. Sorry, don't it? The size the um, thank you for tapping that witch nose. I appreciate you. <laughs> and uh, thank you to Jibin. You're the number one. Yai. Oh no, Rania is the number one. I didn't forget Rania. You are the number one. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support. Let's do this challenge. What is the closest synonym? All right. What is the closest synonym? That is my question to you. And hello, mother. Hello. <laughs> Here we go. What is the closest synonym to the word luggage? What is another name for the word luggage, guys? What do you also call your luggage? <laughs> And I want to say, my mom is crazy. We cycled for two more than two hours this morning. She still cycled more right now when I'm live streaming with you guys. Ridiculous, right? Ridiculous. Uh, luggage. It could be suitcase. However, luggage is not only your suitcase. If you take your cat on holiday, your cat is technically your luggage too. But I'm looking for the word with the letter B. B. Okay, the synonym for the word luggage with the letter B. What is it? What is it? And I appreciate your support. Thank you for those subscriptions. I appreciate it. It is, of course, baggage. Well done. Baggage. Double G, one G. Double G, one G. Type it down below. You get the free point. You get a free point. J, Luliana, Heru, Michiel, George, 
Jana, do, pff, your names are great. Sylvie, Sunshine, Daisy, Maya, Elizabeth, Dida in the top 10. Well done to you, shout outs. Always guys, shout outs to the top 10. So um, do this, do this, okay? The next word guys, the next word is actually two words, two words. What do you call it? When you come to the airport and you register. When you come to the airport and you register. And then you get your ticket. What do you call it? When you are re registered at the airport. They're like, oh, I'm here. What? Yeah, you are right, mom. <laughs> Sadly, you guys can't hear my mother. But she was right. Luca is still in the garden. I turn around the owl, mom. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. So it's in the background of the video. <laughs> yes, my mom made it to number one because the right words were, of course, check in. When you register, the first thing you do on the airport is check in. Check in. Don't check in too late or you'll miss your plane. Well done to you. Blue, camera guy, Dida, Luliana, Jibin, Lin. Malamlima, Sela, Bakuzona, D, and Embar coming in in the top 10. Congratulations. Congratulations. Don't, don't say sorry. What do you mean sorry? I can just turn the owl back. It's not like I broke the owl, guys. All right, the next word. I am looking for a similar word. We are traveling. When you are traveling, you are traveling to a goal. What is this synonym for a goal when you are traveling? Lecker. It starts with the letter D. I will help you out. It starts with the letter D, not your destiny. <laughs> <laughs> that is too much, okay? We are not talking about your life's destiny. We are just traveling. Think about it. I go from one place to the next. My goal. What do I call my goal? My goal can also be called my da 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 da. Destiny is serious. Yeah, destiny is like uh, more serious. It's my destiny. You guys are my destiny. <gasps> Final destination. That is the word. Destination. Well done. It is a long word. Type it down, down below. You get the point. Sukdi, Jibin, NG, Trinity, Daisy, Tal, Chaja, MJ, Doris, Dida, Elizabeth. Brand new top 10. Well done to you. Destination. Exactly. Destiny is like a short for destination. However, destiny is more like a destiny in life. You know, what is our destiny? Destination is when you're traveling. It's more chill. Well done to you. All right. Here is the next word. And again, secretly, guys, I got a little idiom for you. Because what do you call it? When the plane departures... When a plane departures, what do you call it? Two words. One, one <laughs> phrasal verb. What do you call it? When the plane is about to departure. Departure. It's not your passport. No, the plane departures. I'm helping you out. This is your hint. The plane don't go me. The plane go me. Does that help out? I will help you out. The first word starts with the TTT. TTT, ta ta ta. TTT, ta ta ta. I think I got a fly in my nose, bro. I know my nose is big, but it's not a cave. <laughs> not take out. No, no, no. It goes up. It goes up. What happens when a plane goes up? It take. Right yeah. It takes off. Yes, you can op the rechter stool. Die yeah. kan ik niet zien. Okay. Take off. Correct. Not take up. <laughs> Listen guys, when the plane goes up, we call it take off. 
When a plane goes down, we say... It crashes. <laughs> <laughs> My mom said it crashes. Good, good job, mom. You can see who is afraid of flying. Yeah. Landing. My mother has a fear of flying, guys, so the plane will crash. Okay. What do we call it in one word? What do we call it in one word? What is another word for your ticket? For the ticket on the airplane, what is another word for the ticket you have? It's a four-letter word. Uh-oh. It is a four-letter word for your ticket. Can you guess what it is? Hmm, ticket. So I have my ticket to get on the airplane. How can I also call this? Ah, uh, what is another word? Never heard of it? Well, you learned new vocabulary. Congratulations. Because it comes from the boarding. Boarding. Pa, pa, pa. Yes, I knew that would help you. You are correct. The four-letter word for a ticket is a pass. P-A-S-S, -S, as in boarding pass. Well done, Gab, making it to number one. Siri F, yo. Daisy, Ron, Sam, Sam Betty, Angie, Jibin, Ore, Shara, Dida, Camera Guy. A brand new top 10. Congratulations. Congratulations. As in boarding pass. You can say flight ticket or boarding pass. Now you know. Flight ticket or boarding pass. <laughs> okay. Here is the next one. We are looking for similar words, synonyms. Now, what is the synonym for your chair on the airplane? What do you call the chair on the airplane? Do you know? Do you know? Type it down below. What do you call the chair on your air on the airplane? Oh, you guys are so fast that TikTok is lagging out. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but TikTok was lagging out. This is how fast you are. It went from 100 to 5 to 130 to 20. <laughs> well done, guys. Well done. You are breaking TikTok. Keep it going. Guess it. Guess it. Guess it. And it will break. It will break. I like it. I like it. <laughs> uh, the chair on an airplane is called your seat your seat and every seat has a seat number seat number well done to you number one gap coming in again at number one position mj english with edward ang sambate well done chadia mels elizabeth bakozona and a person with a <laughs> the person's name is well done to you, person. <laughs> All right. So you go on vacation. You have a good time. But then you want to see some things. You go on excursion. What is the other word for going on an excursion? Maybe you have a guide when you go on this excursion. Maybe you have a guide. It is a four-letter word I am looking for. Sightseeing is a good one. Sightseeing is a good one. However, sightseeing is just looking at very popular landmarks, very popular things in a city. If you do this, you see more. I'm looking for a four-letter word. A four-letter word for an excursion. What am I looking for? Starting with the letter T. T. And uh, you could also, if you think about it, uh, I'll give you another hint. In uh, France, they do this with bicycles. Hey, that's where the word comes from. It's a French word. Now you know. Now you know. 
It starts with the letter T. It could be a trip. However, when I see many different things, I call it a tour. Tour. T O U R. Tour. Like a tour guide. A tour guide. The person that is showing you around is called a tour guide. Helping you out. Hope it's a new word for you. If it's not, maybe the next word is. Maybe the next word is. Because we are talking about a destination. I'm mistyping the word. We are talking about the destination. But how do you call the person going there? How do you call this explorer? What is a synonym for the explorer? who goes and sees many different things. Tourist could be good, but I'm looking for the specific synonym for explorer, not tourist. When you take the airplane, you take the bus, or you're in your own country, you are a TR, TR something. Wanderer, ooh, beautiful word. Who came in with wanderer? It could be Wanderer, honestly, nice B2 English word. <laughs> but in this case, I'm looking for the TR word, tr tr tr. Hmm. When somebody takes the airplane, when somebody takes a bus, they go somewhere. You are a traveler. Now the question is, one L or two L's? <laughs> Good luck, type it down below, I will give you the top 10. Axel, number one, Sunshine, Bacazona, Trinity, Daisy, Humba, Blue, Ember, Temli, Meta, Waina in the top 10. Congratulations, congratulations. I am from the Netherlands, currently I am not traveling. I am not traveling right now. But what I do have is another word for you. Because, what do you call, in a four-letter word, what do you call the thing you need to go somewhere, the permit, the permit you need for some countries? What do you call it? Bam, bam, congratulations, you are muted for the whole live stream. Boom! What do you call it? The permit that you need, not your passport. But for some countries, you need a permit to enter the country or to stay in the country for 30 days, 60 days, 180 days. It's a four-letter word that I am looking for. Well, you need money, yeah, but the money is not the permit, except for America, maybe. Um, the money in this case is not the permit. It is, of course, starting with the letter V a visa a visa you need a visa for a lot of countries Embar making it to number one congratulations Dida, Uni, Doris, Wayina, Jay, Coffee Bear, Oreo, uh, Doyan, Tokun and D congratulations D you made it to the top 10 cash is better you can have as much cash as you want, but if you don't have the right visa, nobody's going to let you in. Well, maybe for some countries. <laughs> maybe for some countries. <laughs> All right. I have another one for you. Keep it going. I have another one for you. You tell me, what do you call it? You are traveling, and if you're traveling with your mom or dad especially, they like to have a timetable. But what is the synonym for a timetable? Okay, we need to go here first, and then we go there, and oh no, you're five minutes late. It could be an itinerary. Yes, but uh, the specific word for a timetable, remember, synonyms synonyms there is a synonym for timetable and it is this word with the letter s starting with the letter s what is the word it's getting windy out here thank you for the heart i appreciate it west son 
Thank you for supporting free English for all the people here. Thank you. You are amazing. And if you like it, you can subscribe and you get a free one month speaking course. You subscribe for three bucks, one month speaking course for free. And 30 stickers if you like my cat. <laughs> it is a schedule or schedule. Whatever you want to say, schedule or schedule, both is okay. But you are correct. Thank you so much. Bakozona, Daisy, Da, Tao, Exol, DJ, Trinity, Dominica, Maya, Georgia, and Malalima in the top 10. Congratulations. I think I have two more words. Two more words. In this challenge, there is another challenge. So don't go anywhere. You want to learn English? I give you English. Here we go. Pfft, that one is too difficult, bro. Who made that up? Who made it up? Okay, this one is... You can do this one. You can do this one. What do you call your travel document? What do you call the travel document? The thing you need to travel. The number one thing you need to travel. How do you call it? How do you call it? You can have a visa, but if you don't have this thing, useless. You cannot get into the airport, you cannot check in, you cannot take the airplane, you cannot go across a border if you don't have this thing. Except if you live in Europe, because in Europe you can use your identity card, you can use your ID, you don't need this thing. Luca! Goedemorgen! The cat woke up. <laughs> it's 4.30, the cat woke up. Hi, Mamo. I'll give you a cat cans camera soon, okay? Ugh, here. You need a passport. Guys, your travel document is your passport. The number one thing you need to travel. Passport. Type it down below, get a point. Daisy making it to number one, beating out camera guy, Dominica D, Ambar Dida, Bagazona, Hemba, Doll, Kaylin, Sambate, well done to you, STFI, Strawberry, Nikki, this close to the top 10. That close to the top 10. <laughs> do I have any other words for you? Yes, I do. Because maybe you don't know this word. I am looking for the synonym. What is the synonym for the word in? Not I-N, but I-N-N. -N. What is the synonym? For example, I sleep in an inn. I go to an inn. I-N-N. -N. What is the synonym for an inn? It is a place where you can sleep, an inn, I-N-N. -N. Inn is also older English, I will tell you. It comes from old English, because in those days, the word that you are typing didn't exist. It was just called an inn or a lodge. Starting with a silent letter, the silent letter H, what is the word that I am looking for? The synonym for in, I-N-N. -N. The answer, what do you think? The answer for the word in is a hotel. Yes, hotel is the same as in. A hostel is kind of like a motel, a level lower, okay? A level lower. But a hotel is like a holiday inn. It's about the same level. Well done. An inn, I-N-N, -N, is a hotel. Well done to you. And in the old days, they always call it an inn. Welcome to our inn. But sadly, guys, sadly, when you are going on a holiday, you are at the airport on time. But sadly... Your plane is holed up. What do you call it when your plane is holed up and you can't leave? Somebody guessed it before I finished. 
Well done to you! <laughs> Five letters. I am not searching for the ED. Just give me the base. Just give me the Gurund. Yeah, when it is postponed. Beautiful word. But when your airplane is postponed, there is a specific five-letter word for it. Did that bird just fly inside? I hope not. <laughs> Sometimes a bird flies into the house, so we gotta pay attention. <laughs> Anybody ever had this? When you are nice on time at the airport and then it says, the plane will arrive in an hour and a half. It is of course called a delay. Well done, Dida, Ron, Humba, Blue, Watermelon, Pio, Mr. Bean, Datao, Maya, and English with Edward. Well done to you. The word was delay. Yes, delay. When the word is, when your plane is delayed, you are correct. You are correct. Do I have one more? I don't know. I don't know. I think um, I think uh, it is time for the last challenge because you did amazingly. Let's see how well you did, guys. Let's see how well you did. Congratulations on finishing challenge number two. Are you ready? For the last challenge of today, welcome to the team, star, star, star. Thank you so much, Anna, for manifesting. Guys, manifest your win. Manifest the top 10, okay? Manifest means think about it and it will happen. It will appear. Manifest your winning, okay? You will be the number one. You will be the number one. Let's do this. <laughs> The last challenge, as always, is the hardest challenge. We are going to do phrasal verbs. And let me tell you, phrasal verbs are not easy. I will give you an example of a phrasal verb. A phrasal verb is always two words. Word number one is a verb. Word number two is called a particle. Word number two is called a particle which is just a preposition in, on, at, out, over, uh, for, those kind of words. Work out, work out. When you are trying to figure out this challenge, work out is a phrasal verb. Anybody else can type a phrasal verb down below? I wanna know what phrasal verbs do you know? Look up, correct, look up is a phrasal verb. I look like Jake with this hair. Yeah, true. Look for, figure out, give up, get in, stay up, try out, check out, keep up, carry out, make up, broke up, <laughs> single ladies, um, look after, look at, <laughs> very well, go out, yes, find out, make up, carry on, wake up, these are all phrasal verbs. You are correct. Thank you, camera guy, for your support. Those are the phrasal verbs. Remember, always two words, sometimes three. If it is a three-word phrasal verb, I'll tell you. Otherwise, two words. Listen up. Here we go. I am going to open the challenge, and this is the first one. I am going to describe the phrasal verb and give you the first letter. I will describe the phrasal verb and give you the first letter. This is the example, okay? If I say to withdraw from a plan or commitment, when you are withdrawing from a plan, like you wanted to go out with friends, but you're saying, sorry guys, not gonna do it. Starting with the letter B, Starting with the letter B, like call off, almost like call off, but it starts with the letter B. B, 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 out, B, out. What is the phrasal verb I'm looking for? When you say, sorry, can't do this. Normally, 
they'll use this phrasal verb with uh, sales, with uh, sales and contracts. When you are buying something or you're selling something and you will make a deal, but eventually one person says, I'm not going to do it. Then the phrasal verb is to back out. You back out of the deal. Back out. That is the phrasal verb. Well done, Michel, Selena, Malay, Yellow, Trinity, Cherry, Luliana, Gris, Tao, Angela, Sunshine, Dulmai. Well done to you. Listen, phrasal verbs are difficult. I know. But you will learn something new. If you are, don't become the top 10, you will learn something new. Yeah, bye bye for the deal. Back out. Back out. The next one is easier. This one is easier because you have already said it down below. What is the phrasal verb to cancel plans? To cancel your plan with someone. Thank you, camera guy, for the pay to win. Ta -ta 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 Thank you for your support. When you cancel your plans, <laughs> not break up, guys. We're not breaking up with people. But when you cancel your plans, you are supposed to go out with that one friend, but you actually don't really like that one friend. You're like, oh no, I am so tired. You are k k k. You cook off your plan. You cook off your plan. Don't worry, I will always give you these hints. You don't have to ask for them. I will give them to you. Cut off. No, cut off means you totally stop talking to people. But when you call off, you call off with double F. That means you call off the plan. You're like, I'm not going to do it tonight. However, we could do it tomorrow. We could do it tomorrow. You can call off a plan and then you can call for a rain check. Beautiful idiom, rain check. When you say, can I get a rain check? Which means, can we not do it today, but another day? Rain check. <laughs> There is an owl behind me, correct. There is an owl behind me. Well done. Call off. Dida, Daisy, Max, Yai, Datao, Blue, One One, Sickle, Rose, Jay, and Quinza, Jean, Louisa. So close. This is the owl of wisdom. Yes. The owl of wisdom is helping you out. You are correct. Well done to you. Here is the next word. Here is the next one. What do you call it? When you are escaping or leaving a place. When you really need to run away. When you really want to go, go, go away. When you really want to go, go, go away. Run away is not a phrasal verb. But g -g -g away is a phrasal verb. Or you want to go on vacation. You are working really hard and you want to go on vacation. You're like, I really got to g, -g, g away. I have a tavel for the person who asked. I do have a tavel, but my bachelor is engineering. <laughs> I'm an engineer. Hi. I like math. I like coding, I like buildings, I'm an architectural engineer. Go out, no, away. I gave you already the hint, the second word is away, away. What is the, si what is the phrasal verb? You g, -g, g away. Also, if there's a ugly guy, <laughs> you meet an ugly guy on the street and you're like g, -g, -g, -g away from me. G -g -g away from me. <laughs> My discipline is architecture. I build buildings. Bakozona, well done. Other, great name. Uh, Halina, Tao, Oki, Akula, Bubu, Siri F, Kaylin, Love W, and Rania in the top 10. <laughs> Who has an other emotion, uh, emoji as your name? 
Nice. No politics in my chat, just learning English. Thank you. Get away! Get away, not go away. Get away. When you are going on vacation, you are getting away. Go away, you can't use for going on vacation. Get away. Get away is what you use to escape or leave a place. Well done. Well done. Remember, guys, this is the most difficult challenge of today. The other two challenges were easier. All right, here's the next one. When the challenge is just too difficult. When the challenge is just too difficult and you have to admit your defeat. When you have to admit your defeat. You have to g g g in g g g in What is the phrasal verb when you have to g g g in Get in? No. Got in? No. When you just, you know, it's almost like giving up. But when you admit your defeat, you're like, okay, I lost. What is the phrasal verb? Two words. You have to g g g in. Is this a good hint? Is this a good hint I'm giving you? You don't understand? Phrasal verbs are two words. They are a verb that doesn't literally mean what it says. For example, the last one was get away. Get away means when you're going on vacation. It's time to get away. This one though is g g g in. G g g in. When you are admitting defeat, you cannot be the number one in our TikTok challenge. You just have to give in. You just have to give in. Give in is like giving up. Yes, it's exactly like giving up. Give in. Well done to you, J, Max, Trinity, Ron, Bacozona, Roxian, Doll, Luliana, Michelle, Camera Guy, and Oki in the top 10. Well done to you. Give in. Give in, I give in. I'm done, bro. I give in. I can't eat hamburgers anymore. It's too much. <laughs> it is too much. <laughs> All right. Here is the next one. When you are restraining yourself or you are controlling your emotions, when you're really angry, and you want to punch someone, but you don't do it. But you don't do it. You are ha 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 back. You are ha 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 back. You could say ha 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 back. Ha 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 me back. I'm gonna punch him if you don't. Ha 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 back. <laughs> You are saying you don't like me? Ha 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 back! Ha 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 me back! <laughs> no INGs guys, I'm just looking for the basic uh, phrasal verb. Ha 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 back! Hola back! <laughs> Jay, I know that was a mistype, but it is very funny. Hola back! No, guys, in this case, when you are not punching someone and you really, really want to. You know, some people just have that ugly face where you're like, I just want to punch him in the face. But you don't do it because you're a good guy. You are learning English with us. You are nice. You will say, I, am, I will hold back. Hold back. Well done. Ron, Max, Jay. Camera guy, Tao, Dida, Meta, Blue, Trinity, Cool Boy, Dima in the top 10. Hold me back! Hold me back! <laughs> you don't want to learn English with me? Hold me back! No, I'm kidding. You're welcome to learn English with me. And if you don't like it, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> okay, for the next one. 
I am not gonna say anything. For the next one, I am not gonna say anything. I'm gonna do something. That's the hint I will give you. Watch me. Three, two, one. Got it? <laughs> this is also a phrasal verb. When you... Um, when you improve your position, when you angle, angle, angle up, <laughs> how do you call it? When you, uh, or, or if you really, really like someone and you want to be like someone, when you want to be like someone, that is the phrasal verb. When you want to be like someone. Maybe you really respect someone. You respect mm, someone's position or who they are. Maybe you, me. You're like, Lucas, I la 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 up to you. I la 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 up to you. Do you? Do you? Welcome. If this is your first day, hi, my name is Lucas. Look up. Yes. Look up. So, number one, I can just look up. Number two, I can look up information. So, when I, when I check this, I am looking up the challenge. I'm looking up information. Or number three, when you look up to someone, you have respect for someone, you look up to someone. Well done. Camera guy making it to number one. Finally, you were almost going to give up. Uh, Michio, Angela, Jay, Coffee Bear, Bakuzona, Meta, Doll, Kevin, Datao, and Max in the top 10. Blue, Luisa, Adriana. This close. This close. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Hold on. I know this challenge is difficult, but don't give up. Don't give in. Because I believe in you. Oh, this is a beautiful one. This is for your ex-boyfriend who was always lying to you. When somebody is lying to you, when somebody is fabricating a story, when somebody is fabricating a story, they mama up a story. They mama up a story. What do you call it? What do you call it? When somebody is faking a story, when somebody is a uh, um, um, uh, up love, you thought he loved you, but he um, um, uh, up. Liar, cheat, <laughs> spit him up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, girls also do this. Girls also do this to their face. Hope it helps. Hope it helps. <laughs> I'm curious if the top 10 is all those of you who got cheated on or who have an ex-boyfriend. I'm curious if that's the top 10. <laughs> you are angels. Yes, you are. Because you're learning English with us. Of course you are an angel. Of course you are an angel. Mamma up. Mamma up. Let's see. J. I didn't know you had this pain in your heart. Blue, Bakuzona, Sunflower, Luliana, Max, Dima, Dreamcatcher, Love Shen, uh, Sambete, and Coffee Bear. Well done to you. Make up. When you make up a story. When somebody is lying, you can say, you are making that up. I don't believe you. You are making that up. Stop lying to me. Stop lying to me. Got it? Make up. <laughs> hope that's close enough. I hope that's close enough. All right. You also don't like those people, you know. You make an appointment with these people, but then they delay or they postpone a decision. You're like, do you want to go out? And they're like, mm, let me think about it. 
They p p p off their decision. They p p p off their decision. Like, do you want to go out tonight? Yes or no? I don't know. You know this happens, and it's raining, and the, the my my bicycle is broken, and、uh, my ex boyfriend might be there. They are just you know delaying or postponing a decision. What do you call it when somebody delays or postpones a decision? They don't completely say no, but they just don't make the decision. They p p p off, p p p off. You can also use this in、uh, in at your work. When you say, "Okay, we do, we don't really know enough to make a decision. Let's put off our decision. Let's put off our decision because I don't know. You're gonna hit the sack. Good night, a room. Good night. Normally, I have finished by this time, but today I was late, so、uh, it's a longer live stream. You you always get three challenges every Wednesday, every Saturday. It's always three challenges. Thanks for the follows. Appreciate you. Put off, put off. When somebody doesn't make a decision, they put off. Kevin, well done. That Tao again. Tao ni English. Dolmai, mabi, dima, bubu, stifig, dida, Michelle, Quinn. Well done to you on your top ten position. Great job, great job, and thank you for sharing the live stream. Very kind of you. More people can learn English. If you want to help out, only thing you have to do is like the live stream or share. It's free, and you can help out. Well done to you. Put off. Put off. Do you know those people who are always putting off decisions? They're like, yeah, but, yeah, but. I think、uh, our conversation about ex-boyfriends. Has been enough. Okay, let's focus on that 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 new boyfriend, because sometimes you just hope that when you are walking on the street, you are walking on the street, and you see that old friend again, or you're not paying attention and just walk into someone you ra 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 into, ra 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 into. When you、uh, maybe you don't. Make an appointment, but you see that friend again, randomly on the street. You're like, "Hey, how you doing? Long time no see." You ra 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 into them. You ra 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 into them. Like destiny, yes, did I? <laughs> It's destiny. Would you like destiny to help you out? Bump into it could be bump into, but I said ra ra ra. I did say ra ra ra, so no cheating here. <laughs> yeah, when you haven't seen a friend for a long time and you didn't make an appointment, but it just it just happened. You just like hey, you are here, crazy. We say you run into someone, run into, run into someone on the street. You're like. Great, run into. Type it down below, and you get the free point. Even if you haven't typed anything yet, just type "run into," you get the free point. So again, when、uh, you randomly see a friend on the street, you're like, "Hey, long time no see." You run into someone. Also, literally, if you walk into someone, what did you say? I ran into. My two ex-boyfriends in the cinema. That's the worst place to meet your two ex-boyfriends. That is a,、uh, that is awkward. You should go to a different cinema, probably. <laughs> you should go to a different cinema, honestly. Um, that doesn't sound like a right, the right place to go. Also. Sometimes you know, you say, "I I'm single, 
I'm happy to be single. So many boys like me because you are beautiful. And they always ask me if I want to be their girlfriend. But you say no. You decline or reject an offer. What do you call it when you decline or reject an offer? You call it ta-ta-ta down. Ta-ta-ta down. Remember, Sukti. Phrasal verbs. Ta-ta-ta down. Lucas is always ta-ta-ta down, you guys. You're like, Lucas, can you be my boyfriend? Lucas, can you be my husband? Lucas, can you marry my daughter? I always have to turn you down. <laughs> I just spilled it. Good job, Lucas. You just spilled the answer. Sorry, I spilled the tea. But seriously, I get tired of turning you guys down, okay? I want to accept you guys into our community. I want to have you guys into our community because it's fun. I don't want to turn down. I don't want to turn down. Also, you can turn down the music. Turn down the music. If I do this, you'll be like, Lucas, turn down the noise. Lucas, it's too loud. Can you turn down the noise? Please, turn down the noise. It's so loud. I don't hear anything. <laughs> ASMR. ASMR English teacher. Let's go! <laughs> Instantly, more people come. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's turn down. Turn down. Well done to you. Too loud for ASMR? I'm sorry. Max, Michelle, uh, Jacil, well done. Honey, not my honey, but honey, well done. Jay, Sunshine, Adriana, Lelaine, Dolmai, my violin, well done to every single one of you. Turn down is the phrasal verb. Turn down the music. Turn down those ugly guys. You're like, bro, just stop asking, okay? I turn you down. Ooh, look at this sun. Look at this lighting. You would almost think it is fake. You would almost think it is fake. Uh, that one is not really good. This one is better. This one is better. Yeah, when somebody, when somebody is will, when somebody escapes prison <laughs> or is released from a confined space, you can call it b -b -b out, b -b -b out. When somebody is escaped escaped like you know the popular series prison buh, buh, buh. not bail out because they're escaping that's illegal and why am I giving you this word because there is a modern meaning of this word there is a modern meaning of this phrasal verb which only has existed for about five years for only like five years this phrasal verb also means something else because when a video goes viral when a video goes trending we can also use this phrasal verb and these days uh, you use it especially for audio it is really weird but when sounds in TikTok or in Instagram do really well they you you can say they break out break out taught you something new v when something goes viral when something is trending you can say break out this song is breaking out and well done to run my violin love w genevieve trinity tian tian snng anna selena blue and Tao in the top 10. Yeah, when you, you, we all want to break out. <laughs> when they become viral, correct. Or when your skin breaks out. <laughs> pimples everywhere. Pimples. I had a pimple here today. Can you still see it? Yeah, see this red spot? I had a pimple on my neck. 
Bro, why there? That's a weird place to have a pimple, okay? All right. Often Lucas tells you to wait. When I tell you to wait, I always use a phrasal verb when I tell you to wait. I always say, ha ha ha, on. Ha ha ha, on, guys. Give me a moment. Ha ha ha, on. This also means to maintain or keep one's position or grip. Somebody can say, can you ha ha ha, on to the umbrella? Thank you so much, Johnny. I appreciate the strength. Look at it. Look at that. Guys, can we just appreciate the sunshine? Oh, look at those colors. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, what did I say? Oh, yeah. When I tell you to wait, <laughs> I tell you to ha 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 on. Ha 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 on. <laughs> I got it, Trinity. You can type the answer. I already muted the account. I tell you to hold on. Well done. Hold on. The topic today is three challenges. This is the last challenge of today. We are more than halfway the challenge, Alban. We are doing phrasal verbs. Your favorite. Phrasal verbs. You typed it already. You are speed, bro. You are speed. Not bro. Trinity. <laughs> you are speed. Blue, well done, so farm, Dreamcatcher, Love Shen, Malay Lima, well done, Tao Michiel, Dida, Denise, Feeling Blue, and Genevieve in the top 10. <laughs> hold on, hold on. All right, well done to you. Hold on, was the answer. All right, um, I'm going to give you another one. This one, I don't know how I want to exp... Sorry, my bad. I clicked out of the app. I clicked out of the app. Sorry for the lag. Sorry for the lag. That was my bad. I clicked out of the application. Please don't leave. I'm sorry. Okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> that was my bad. Um... I, don't, I can't believe when you click out of the app, it just, you know... Pfft. When people go on a date, when people go on a date, and the guy is finally alone, and he can finally fart. What do you call it, when a guy can finally fart? <laughs> <laughs> when you ca can release... Or free someone or something. You la 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 out. You la 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 out. <laughs> you la 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 out. I don't know where this live stream is going. I'm sorry, okay? For, for those that are learning English seriously, sorry. I'm getting crazy. It is quarter past five. Maybe I just need some food. Or when you want to shout, you can say, la 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 out. La la la, it all out. Because of the coffee, it might be. Yeah, the coffee has a crazy effect. You, of course, let out. Well done. Let it out. Let out, Dida, Alaf, Shen, Aisa, Anna, Edududududududu, Dolwa, Mai, Max, Bakozona, Dima, Luliana, Rania, well done to you. It is, of course, let out. Great job. Let out! <laughs> Thank you for sharing the live stream. Very kind of you. I appreciate your support. Let it all out. Let it all out. Well done to you. We can do a few more, right? We can do a few more. Because after a tough challenge day, after a tough challenge day, you are so tired, you can almost p -p -p 
out. You are so tired after an English challenge day with Lucas, you can literally p -p -p out. <laughs> or when you are nice and you are sharing something with people, you distribute something with people or in a group, you can p -p -p out these things. What do you call it? When you, uh, when you are really tired or when you are sharing something with a group of people. You p -p -p out. Can you do this with food? Can you p -p -p out because of food? I don't know. I don't know, it's possible. Look at his lighting. Jeez. Hey, do you come here often? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> of course, when you are really, really tired, you can say, it is time to pass out. He is so handsome, I feel like passing out. Well done, Bakazona, Michelle, Aisa, Sunshine, Maisel, Jay, Luliana, CJ, Ron, Dulmai, Kevin. Well done to you. It is pass out. So pass out not only means when you're really tired. Pass out also means sharing. When I am sharing, for example, free stuff, I pass out these things. Pass out. Not put out. Okay, calm down. All right. Which one should we do? A difficult one. Okay, we're gonna do one difficult one. One difficult one. And in this case, I'll give you the first word. Because when you are surviving this challenge day, when you endure a difficult or challenging situation, we can say you... You g g g through a situation. You g g g through a situation. West Sun, never say sorry. You are amazing. Thank you for being here. You g g g through a situation. Not go. No, it is not go through a situation. There is a better phrasal verb to use. But which one is it? Whoa, this sun. Guys, look at this sun. That is crazy. Look at the sun right here. Ugh. Comfortable. And the sun is instantly gone. Um, when you go, when you, when you deal with this difficult situation, you survive. We say you get through. Get through a tough situation. Well done. Going through means you are still going through it at this moment. But get through means you already survived. You are done. Past tense. Well done, Max. Didi, Dida, Sukdi, Knowles, Yai, Feeling Boo, Michelle, Melalima, Bakozona, Akula, Monica. So close. <laughs> So close. Are you getting through this challenge? I feel like I feel like we're getting through to an end. I'm gonna give you three more. These are the last three of this challenge of this day. Okay, the last three. Make it a good three. Sit forward. Ha! Huh. Put your effort in. Ugh. And let's do it. Because when everything is going bad, when things are not going well, you can change, you can improve your situation. What do you call it when you improve a situation? Starting with the T. Starting with the T. Trinity phrasal verb. You t t t around. T t t around. Rania, not ING.
When we say, okay, it's not going well right now, but you can ta 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 this around. I believe in you. You can ta 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 this around. English is difficult. You cannot think in English. You don't understand. Don't worry, because I know you will ta 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 around. Not take around. Eh eh. It is not take around. What do you do? You t t t around. Can you figure it out? Get around? No. Yeah, now you're getting it. Now you're getting it. Turn around. Not literally turning around, but a situation. When something bad is going on, and you make it better step by step, you turn around. Like, turn around your life, turn around. Why is it not got through? Got through is past tense. But I gave you the hint, t -t -t -t. I gave you the hint going like this, turn around. Well done, uh, Melo Gilo, J. CJ, Luliana, Dolmai, Max, Dida, Bakozona, Michiel, Quinn in the top 10. Congratulations, you made it to the top 10. Why not thrive? It could be thrive if this wasn't a phrasal verb challenge day. We are doing a phrasal verb challenge and phrasal verbs are always two words. Always two words. Well done. Two left! These are the last two of the challenge, okay? Because I don't have more words. These are all the words I have. These are all the words I got. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what to do. I don't know which word to do. I am confused. I am confused which one I did and which one I didn't do. Okay, this one. This one. I know, it's well organized. This live stream is well organized. I am a well organized teacher. <laughs> All right, when somebody is not doing well and somebody else just assumes control or responsibility for something, when somebody assumes their responsibility, they t t t over. Anna, no S. Quickly, Anna, no S. They t t t over. What do you do? When you say, okay, you are doing terrible, but don't worry, I will help you out. I will t t t over. What is the word? What is this, Mabi? Most hated challenge? No. The most hated challenge for you guys, I feel like, is the backward spelling challenge. Right? Or the backwards idioms challenge. <laughs> that would be terrible. That would be so sad if I would give you a backwards idiom challenge on Saturday. Oh no, Lucas, don't do that to me. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Take over is the right phrasal verb. Well done, Jay, Dima, CJ, Melojello, Trinity, Blue, Tao, So Far, Nikki, Quinn, and Camera Guy, and Anna. Well done. <laughs> That's a good evil laugh, okay? That is a great evil laugh. Don't tell me, okay? Don't tell me. This is the last one. Which was also the first one. And this is a phrasal verb. When you solve the challenge, you are doing it. We can say you wah 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 out the challenge. I will wah 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 out this challenge. 
you can say you wa 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 out. You can also say obviously I wa 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 out. Look at this guy. I'm gonna look at this English teacher. You wa 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 out. This is the last word of the last challenge for today. While I am being blinded by the sun, who I can see nothing. <laughs> you, of course, work out. Yes, you work out this challenge. Do you work out in life? That is the question. Put work out down below and you get the free point. Put it down below. Work out. Do my well done so far. Camera guy Love Shen B Neem Crash Max J Akulai Sunshine Suk D. Well done. And a hundred people. I feel like it's time for me to say every single one of your names. You put it down below in the next 10 seconds, I will say your name. I'll go the whole name. Well done on your number one position. Here we go, the whole list from 10, because we have done it, the top 10. Sukdi, Nanny, Kevin, Malelimi, Ernie, er, Ernie, Trinity, Cool Boy, Roxine, K, Tatiana, Tao, Mabi, SNN, Yai, Kizma, Blue, Quin Quin, Tan, Nana, Hall, Sandy, Vicky, <sighs> Dida, Hopeless, Mocha, Rania, Luliana, Van Min, Huyen, Millennium, Huang, Nayan, CJ, Lina, Niki, Ron, Baby Boo, Zani, <laughs> great name, Baby Boo, Meta, Silsela, Nu, It's Mer, Dima, Denise, Vivi, Team, Michel, Anna, Selina, Princessa, Arva, Gabriela, Mola, Mina, Nurbaya, Nak, Elben, Divi, Kaza, Versus, Yuan, Datal, Gorgeous, David, Janet, Luisa, Raya, Love, W, Summer, Lu, Dulia, Engi, uh, Tao, Favor Gold, Queen, Monica, Rose, Adriana, Hong Mai Lin, uh, Miss Daniela, Siri, Veriana, Knowles, R Rodgar Visa, oh, your names, Little Teacher, Carol, Tuang, Daniela, Dudley, Julio, and Valeria. Congratulations. Thank you so much on doing this challenge with me. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, please read this. Namaku Diana. Thank you so much for being here here jack well done thank you so much for doing the three challenges with me thank you special shout outs in the chat to the gifters today rania number one today thank you so much rania you are so kind camera guy anna yai nikki johnny blue Trinity, Grace, Nanny, Valeria, Sunshine, Carmen, Jay, Zivara, Selena, The Queen, God, Kirpy, Silila, Love W, Cress, Honey. Thank you for all your hearts, all your support. You are amazing. Enjoy the bird. See you later. You are the best.